Hey guys, this is Jim Kane for YCD and you're watching FEP Labs Radio. Thanks for stopping by. So I want to do a very quick follow-up video to my last video where I tested dummy loads. These two, we liked them. This is the Cellwave dummy load, the DL200. This is the MFJ 260C 300 watt dummy load and those gave us outstanding test results across a wide range of frequency bands. This little guy the MFJ261 dummy load, we got pretty sketch results. So I wanna do a little bit of an in-depth dive with it. And before we go on to the second part of our test, I'm gonna use a multimeter for that. Let's take a look at the stats for this. So I've got this set to six meters right now. And you can see it's showing an SWR of infinity, 240 ohms of impedance and 11.2 ohms of resistance. So that is no bueno. Let's jump down to 160 meters and see what it looks like. And it's even worse. Uh, almost 8,000 ohms of impedance and showing a resistance of 2,000 to 2,400 ohms. So that is not the values we expect out of this dummy load. So I don't like those at all. Those are no good. I do want to compare this in another way with a different instrument. And what we're going to do is we're going to hook this up quickly to a multimeter. So give me one second here and I'm going to hook this up and we'll do some other quick tests. Okay, for ease of use, I've got a cable hooked onto this so I don't have to try and juggle wires in the dummy load at the same time. Let's take a look at what kind of resistance we're getting. And I'm set on the 2000 meg ohm range and we're getting 11,000 mega ohms, 10, 10,000 mega ohms of resistance across this dummy load. I'm pretty sure that's not what that's supposed to be. So quickly, let's compare that to our other two dummy loads. Spoiler alert, I've already done this off camera and I know what it's gonna read, but I wanna show y'all. So this is the other MFJ dummy load. Fifty-six, fifty-seven ohms of resistance across the terminals. None of these are usually exactly 50. And here's the cell wave. Pretty darn perfect. That's 50. What does that tell us? That tells us that this thing has got severe problems inside and is apparently not wired right. I don't know that there's any way to take this thing apart. It looks like it was press fit together like a rivet or something. But in any case, this is junk. And I don't know if it's just mine or if all these things are junk. So before I bought one of these, I'd think long and hard about it. The thing is, this dummy load, the rating on it is not all that fabulous. This is about the same price. This is a 200 watt dummy load with an RF tap port to do test measurements with your Nano VNA or Tiny SA on. So why would you spend 40 or $50 on this, which is apparently very sketchy, and this works great? And so does this one. And I don't remember the price on this, probably $60, $80, somewhere in there. So this is not worth the money at all. This is a complete piece of crap. In any case, guys, that's all I've got for today. Told you it was quick. If you would, make sure and give me a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to the channel in the doodly-doo down below and click the bell in the doodly-doo so you can be notified whenever I post any new videos. Thanks a lot, y'all. Have a good one, 73.